I want to turn my attention to the long-standing issue of fixed-term contracts in government. First, let me acknowledge that fixed-term contracts have their rightful place. They are useful for employment that is designed to be temporary in nature. They are also useful in executive appointments. Over the last three decades or so, ministries, departments and agencies, there has been a growing tendency for the abuse of fixed-term contracts outside of the establishment as a method of staffing organizations. We did not start the problem, Madam Speaker, but this government will begin and advance the process to address this problem. In sharing the gains of economic reform and recovery, the government will regularize ever evergreen, consistently renewed contract workers, Madam Speaker, and move them into structured employment. The Ministry of Finance and the Public Service, through its Strategic Human Resource Department, will move to address the situation Madam Speaker, the problem is so large and complex that it cannot all be fixed at once. And under the reform of contract work in the public sector program, we will approach this in a phase basis, working on one or few areas at a time until we accomplish the task. And we will engage with our union partners in developing a realistic timeline. One of the places we will begin with the reform for contract work in the public sector is in the Ministry of Education. There are approximately 716 cooks and 52 assistant cooks who are presently employed on contract without postcodes. Cooks at the primary level are usually engaged on contract and they work for periods when schools are in session. And based on this arrangement, they're not eligible for pension even after 10 to 20 years. This government is going to resolve this long-standing issue. We'll create the postcodes required to elevate 716 cooks and assistant cooks in our school system from contract work to permanent employment, Madam Speaker. There are 367 regular watchmen who are working in our schools, who are working on contract without postcodes. We will create postcodes required to elevate 367 regular school watchmen who work full-time hours to elevate them, Madam Speaker, from contract work to permanent work, Madam Speaker. In our school system, we have 659 caregivers in our infant schools who are on contract work. We will elevate them, Madam Speaker, to permanent employment, Madam Speaker. There are over 8,000 just in the school system alone. And this government, Madam Speaker, will bring long-awaited reform in this area and improve the lives, Madam Speaker, as we share the gains. I've come into knowledge of and observed for myself a special group who have been wrong for far too long. And this government will respond to their cry for justice. I am speaking about workers at the National Solid Waste Management Agency. We have under, just under 2,000 workers. That includes sidemen, drivers, side women, landfill workers, sweepers, mechanics, all what I'm called the enforcement officers, and the other sanitation workers. Today, I'm announcing a major shift in how we treat this important category of the public sector workforce. Madam Speaker, in fiscal year 2023-24, we will make sanitation workers at the National Solid Waste Management Agency who have completed the necessary probationary periods into permanent employees. There are approximately 1,754 doctors, as I mentioned earlier. 80% of doctors in the public service are on contract and have to be periodically renewed. And after all those years in medical school, the vast majority of our doctors do not have security of tenure. The suboptimal arrangements of, for doctors in the public service and contract for extended periods of time will be brought to an end by this government. I cannot in this speech address all of the instances of contract work in government in need of reform. Under the reform of contract work in the public sector program, we will dimension the problem, Madam Speaker, and detail the phase implementation of solutions for all. We aim to complete the implementation of the reform for contract work in the public sector within a three-year period, concluding in the fiscal year 2025-26. Madam Speaker, when we share the gains of economic reform and economic recovery, Madam Speaker, Jamaica is better off. We're using hiring policy. Hiring policy.
policy to drive social change in our country, Madam Speaker.